Hey everybody, Edo here, and for this week's league video, I wanted to answer a short but interesting question that came up online um, for me, and I feel like I've seen it a couple times, but I've never, I don't believe, really addressed it. So the question was, well, so I, uh, Skull Hollow is live and released in net retail, and that's fantastic. And uh, the game team has been so excited about the game that for a while now, we've actually been working on a sequel, expansion, standalone game that works with the original um, uh, to bring to market. And we, we've been working on it for some time, but had not yet submitted it to a BGG page, right? So the question, so, and, and I have now, it's called Mall Peak, uh, and it's on BGG, and it gets hyperlinked or whatever to Skull Hollow. But the, the question came in on the Mall Peak page was basically like, you know, I, I don't remember the phrasing. It wasn't nasty, but it was just sort of like, I'm curious, like, why is this about building hype? Is this the hype machine for the new game? Blah, 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 blah. And when does a publisher or a designer decide to submit their game to BGG uh, to have a listing? And I thought that was a pretty interesting question, actually, uh, because it was like an ongoing conversation for Mall Peak, as, as, along with many other games, around should we submit, when, and how. And in the, in the Mall Peak case, there's some interesting dynamics because Skull Call was hitting retail. Um, but basically, let's start with one, a couple things. One, there are some standards you need to make uh, meet on the BGG side of things. Uh, having submitted things in the past, you can't simply submit a name and, and like stake a name. Um, there is a, a, an admin process of review of your page, and oftentimes it requires a level of explanation of the game in your description that the admin deems sufficient. And it's, it's a person-by-person -person process, but generally speaking, a sentence without mechanics, how the gameplay works, etc., doesn't get approved. Usually it needs to uh, include, a, a good, again, an explanation of the key gameplay, objectives, mechanics, uh, and, and goals, or objectives, I guess the same things, to get approved. And I've been asked to add more many times. I suspect as you've published more games, it doesn't, you know, you get a little bit of a pass because it's like, well, this is a publisher, they've done a bunch, or like clearly this is an expansion to that last game, whatever. But it's definitely not the case that uh, even in, you know, there's scrutiny. So you have to pass that bar. You're not, you're not able to just to say, hey, I, I like a name, let me grab it. It's worth note though that the name is a part of it. I mean, if, if you're thinking about your game name, there's some apprehension around not submitting because, you know, especially if it's, you know, I mean, Mall Peak, M-A-U-L, right? Like to Mall. Um, it was not too worrisome, nor was Skull Hollow, but uh, Tori was. I wanted to name the 100 Tori Tori. Guess what? Somebody took it. And uh, I think in that case, it was like for a prototype maybe that hadn't been out. Like, I don't remember. But sometimes you run across games. Oh, um, uh, Sunset Over Water. Oh, anyway, so I made it the 100 Tori. Sunset Over Water, we wanted to call Wanderlust. I thought that, that that word is fantastic. Fantastic. I would love to have named the game that, though I'm happy with Sunset Over Water. Um, but I searched on BGG, and some guy had a prototype that was called Wanderlust from five years ago. Um, and so he had taken it and I like reached out to him. I was like, are you still using? He's like, yeah, I still take my prototype uh, to, uh, conventions and I try to get a publisher and like, you're like, all right, I guess it's not going to be named Wanderlust. Now, can you make a game even if it's named on BGG? Sure. But the, the, the world of trademarking and registering on board gaming is not that big. Um, so anyway, it's open. So mind you, back on track. One component of it is sort of securing that spot. But I think realistically, the, the line in the strand about when should I submit has a lot to do with when is your game going to be public facing? When are people going to become start becoming aware of it? Again, Mall Peak has been in development practically since last October when we did the Skull Call Kickstarter. I mean, it has been, uh, you know, in active development one way or another. We probably didn't have the name the whole time. But Actually, we did because we once we knew that that was going to be the game, we actually put it into Skull Call a little bit for those looking around. So, like, like we knew it long enough in advance to have the map in Skull Call include the name of the place for this game. Um, but, but I didn't submit to BGG because you know it didn't feel tangible and it had nothing public facing. So, fast forward some time, 
it's moved along, we have a logo, we have art, we have guardians, we have the bears, we have everything going on. And Keith has, in his local group, been doing playtesting, 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 uh, you know, uh, and sort of in, not, I don't know about NDA, but in his secret groups of people who are like, you know, um, but he then wanted to bring it to Essen to see if he could play with some more people. And then I'm getting a copy soon to start doing my playtesting. And essentially it was like, okay, this, people are going to maybe hear about it or see it or ask about it. And to me, that was the line. It was like, once it's sort of in the public sphere to some degree or another, it probably should be on BGG. Both so that, you know, you don't want people to take the name and that kind of thing, but also because people might be curious about it. And if they're curious about it, you want them to at least be able to find something. I don't have like a website about it. And I think this is very different than the hype train. There's zero intent to start the hype train. And generally speaking, had development been a little slower, I probably would have waited to January. Like, I don't see a big value in starting to talk about the next game when the first game starts going on, you know, is 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 just hitting stores. Um, but again, when when it, when Keith started mentioning playing it at S, and I was like, okay, let's get it submitted. Um, but I think that... Uh, that's to me very different than hype. Like it's there, people will notice it, a couple people ask some questions, but that's like totally different than like teasing what the meeples look like or having like a which meeple do you like thing or starting to show off the guardians or putting out backstory. Like this isn't about sort of building the wave of excitement. I mean, I guess it's part of it, but that like I'm not there yet. Once I know the Kickstarter date, which we're figuring out. But once I know the Kickstarter date, then I'll like walk backwards and think about timelines and think about how to like cascade interest so that it culminates in a gigantic Kickstarter. But like that is forward. Right now it was really like, this will be publicly aware, we should do it. Um, and I think generally that's been the line in the sand I've used. I um, typically will have, I like to have the box art or something approximate, uh, approximate to it. I think just having a TBD on your on your page or like a, uh, that to me is something I tried to do. So even if I know it's coming up, I'll we had an initial thing. But once it was like, oh, he's going to take it to S and I went to dust and I was like, hey, let's let's pause on some guardians and stuff and let's get that logo together so that like it can be on the page. So it, like feels like a thing. So for me, it's understanding the game. It feels like a thing. It's in the public eye or, or sort of could be. And also to some degree for me, a level of confidence in that I'm going to be taking it to Kickstarter, etc. Like, there are games that I'm, like, not as, um, a hundred percent on the name. Like, take Time Empire. That's a game that's, um, uh, been in development for a long time. We've had it at, uh, uh, the, the, the First Exposure Play Hall. You know, it's, it's a game that I, you know, if you're in certain circles that people are aware of it. But uh, I don't know that that's the title at the end. I think we even looked it up and some other publishers doing something with that name. and do, Like, I, it's not squarely in my mind enough that, like, I know the name of the game. Like, de definitely you need to know the name of the game uh, that I would put it on, even though in that case it does have exposure. Um, but its exposure is much more <coughs> um, in an active development phase. Like, like like the whatnot cabinet, which is the next game with Beth Sobel and Steve Finn and that sort of, you know, this line. Well, once we had it, we posted it, that's been sitting there, that's in good shape. Um, and that one does not get tons and tons of external play testing. We do a lot of, uh, we, we do play testing, but again, like, again it wasn't like at, at Essen. Um, Mall Peak is not as refined as the whatnot cabinet, but absolutely like, we know the Guardians, we know the game, we know what we're doing, we did the first game. Like, it's very, very, like, a sh a sh not sure, because we need the Kickstarter and stuff, but, like, it's very clear what that product is and what A to Z is on that. Whereas, in the case of Time Empire, you know, it's ebbed and flowed and changed, and the name might change and figuring it out. Once we have turned the corner and art development is going on and it's really sort of honing in, we'll figure out a name lock it down and go from there. So um, this is just how I've thought of it. Other uh, publishers and designers may have other lines in the sand, but um, you know, I thought it'd be useful to pass it around because I got asked. And that, it was an interesting question. I was like, that's a good question. And I gave my answer, you know, on, on whatever the forum, but, but I thought I'd also make a video. So anyway, thanks.
Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.